Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and you know, I'm, I'm risking a little bit with recording this video with commentary, but at the same time, um, I felt like this game deserves, um, it deserves it. I mean, it's because this is, um, a game that's supposed to be a, uh, kind of like a, um, a recreation or like a spin-off kind of, of Obliterate Everything. And, um, because the original creator of Obliterate Everything, for anyone who doesn't know, uh, actually passed away. Um, his name is C.W. Wallace. That's like, that's the username he went by online. He's the original creator of Obliterate Everything 3. He passed away, I believe, due to cancer. And, um... Pretty sure he was a pretty young guy as well, so it's really sad to hear um, that that happened to him. And so I'm going to try to kind of play some of the games that... Because people have kind of recreated. I think there, I think there's... Um, someone had mentioned in the comment section, they both mentioned both this game. And then there's also a different develop, uh, developer team working on, like, uh, Obliterate Everything 4. So I'm going to try um, that as well. Um, apparently there's a demo for that. And then obviously, yeah, this game, Annihilate, uh, the, uh, the Spants, I think is how I'm pronouncing that. So, um, don't know much about this game. Haven't really checked out much other than a few of the, uh, graphics here and there, um, of this game. But we're going to get into it and we're going to see how it goes. Um, the authority of the... Katalin Armada welcomes you, Pioneer. We have your sales signature. Please complete identification for safe cooperation with Armada forces within the spans. Okay. Blood Samurai. There we go. Did I spell that right? There we go. Yep, okay. Had to double check to make sure I spelled my name right. That's that's how you know it's uh that's how you know it's bad. Um Okay, good. I'm not good. I'm not doxing myself. Um, with this right here. Um, let's see. You have access to the full shadow, Shallows campaign and skirmish with the Katalin and Balkare factions. I, I hope I pronounced that right. I'm probably not pronouncing Katalin properly, but whatever. Factions against a wide range of AI. The game is complete with, uh, from the te technical side. We are working on content settings and polish. Please feel free to share your feedback with us, the developers. And then, um, okay, yeah, nice. So let's, I guess, get into the campaign here. The Shallows, okay. Oh, where do we want to... New faction, is there... <laughs> Trauma. Is there... Just can I can I basically just launch anywhere or Okay, only here. Learn the basics of platform plan. Um yes. Okay. Jock uh, whatever that says, okay. Linking you in. Connection established to M Halts. Hello. All right, comms nominal. Welcome to the Spance. Thank you. It takes a certain kind of grit to head all the way out here for a career. Leave the Solar Union into the outer frontier, past Contal. You're a rare sort. I hope you know that. I'm Morrison Holds, your boss. Been leading my hounds here for about five years now. I've watched the Ar Armada and Coalition have their war over it, and watched them sign the peace treaty that stopped it. Look, I don't like waiting on paperwork and ceremony, so how about I get you in a command platform and let you figure out the ropes of your new career? Don't worry, just a little warm-up exercise. Deep command platform system online and prepared command processing. Platform commander junior registered awaiting operator. There we go. Okay, I, I'm an on-the-job kind of teacher. The Spans is a hell of a place to live, let alone wage war. So I'm going to have to show you the basics of how things work in here. Fair enough. You're taking control of a light command platform. I got it on loan from the Contal and Ar Armada, the guys who control the largest inhabited part of the Spans. 
Um, command platforms are the heart of our field operations in the span. They can go where conventional uh, ships can't and fabricate battlefield facilities rapidly using resources co uh, collected on site. Let's begin, Junior. Okay. Whoa, okay. Uh, this is Vega Bond's Rest, the main headquarters of my organization. Take a look around. Show me you can control your camera. Instructors are on screen. Enjoy the view. Okay. WASD moves the camera. Whoa. Scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Whoa. Okay. So if this is going to be similar to obliterate everything, then this is insane. Cause it, I mean, I assume this is probably going to be more similar to how like obliterate everything four kind of looks where it's going to be more like 3d rather than like the top down view which i hope is the case honestly view in and out okay um shift r calling your platform now hard link initialized okay. okay so here i am here's your platform get comfortable um current stations all systems nominal waiting orders uh, and there, so you do a uh, close your desk. Let's check its condition. Let's click the select, select your platform. Okay. On the unit's card in the center of your screen, you can see its name and its health bar. Below that, it's, it's heat heat bar. Okay. And to that is a shield icon indicating its armor. The damage of incoming incoming attacks is reduced by armor. Most weapons also inflict heat, which softens armor when it gets high enough. Oh. In order to know what a unit can do and what it what it makes it tick, you can click its portrait I, I image to view its databank entry. Do it for your platform, give it a read if you want, then close the databank. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, there we go. So it's got four watcher guns. Control and armor, command extender. 10,000, it's a capital... Oh, okay. Generates 2.5 matter per second and 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 one energy per second. Okay, so very similar to um, wow. It's very similar to um, to obliter obliterate everything, which makes sense. Our building com a competent base that can pump out battle fleets is going to cost three resources, matter, energy, and logistics. The platform generates a matter and energy, but it's not enough. Build a co um, cohesor? I don't know. From the build bar in the bottom left of your screen to start generating more matter. Notice this cost in M and logistics. Good building instructions on the screen. Um, each faction has different types of logistics structures. Okay, so what's the hotkey for it? C. Okay. And then... What's the point of the arrow? What does the arrow mean? Uh, oh, okay, so you can... Um, to build multiple structures in a row. Okay. Well, whatever it means, I'm gonna just do it that way. Great, you know how to build structures. There are two enemy bases ahead of you toward the main station. Your job is to destroy them, but first we need defenses. The Watcher turret is a cheap, weak defense gun build, so. Again, I don't understand what the point of the arrow is. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay. Right to it. You can. Okay. Yard. Oh, okay. Let's go. Bat at the yard. Yep, I want you to build as many. It's battle time, and don't worry about the ships they automatically build. The Tallies will seek out your enemy on their own. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I. That's. Yeah. 
You're out of logistics. You can see how much you have under the L on your resource. Build base core logistics structures from the utilities tab of your build bar. You're out of energy. <laughs> Okay. 50 energy. Okay. Okay. So I just need to. So yeah, so they do automatically build. Okay, that's pretty. That's really nice. Okay. Well, let's go with. Um... Let's go with more energy then. Energy production. This energy production is definitely going to be the main resource that we're going to be spending on things oh and that's cool so it, it does take some time for them to actually like build they don't just automate or like they build but they like have to come online so it begins all your units auton uh, autonomously seek out the closest target within their sensor range very large things like commander platforms are visible from anywhere you can view detailed information in the data bank okay okay we're good I'm understanding. What is this guy, though? I'm assuming. Can I select the fleet? Can I control these guys? Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh, it wants me to produce. Uh, oh, it wants me to produce more of these. Okay. I can do that in a second. Don't worry, game. Don't worry about it. How much energy is this? 20. Yeah, so it does say... Okay, so I'm assuming the T there... Yeah, is the time... Okay. So how much time it takes to build it. Which is pretty interesting. Uh... Oh, that's definitely not good. Yeah, I'm gonna put some more turrets down, I think. Okay. I think that should be good. As long as they're all, you know, I'll have enough time to actually become operational. That should be a pretty sizable fleet. Add some more just because why not? Get some more of these things down for extra logistics. And then... We could probably... Like, the fleet that's being sent at them is pretty sizable, so I'm not too worried. Um... Let's just add some more in the back here, though. You can never have too many units. Okay, the last base has missile launchers. They will destroy your tallies, so let's get back up. The Conda is a point defense ship built from the Yard 1. It can shoot down missiles and drones uh, efficiently. Look and drag to select multiple Yard 1s and select the Conda. Okay. Then I'll probably have these guys back here be the Conda ships. So they all should be Kana, right? Yeah. Do I even need Kanas? It seems like my guys are doing a pretty good job. <laughs> even against missile launchers, they're like destroying the enemy base. So I don't know if I even really need Kanas. I don't even think the Kanas are going to arrive in time. 
I have to operate your platform. Yeah, can I like start attacking other things? <laughs> okay. Next operation. Learn waypointing and give a halt a real fist fight. Okay. Um uh, honestly, I don't even know if I really wanna fight. Cause I mean, if you guys want to read all this, you're more than welcome to, but, like, I just feel like, because this is just lore, basically, for lore purposes, if you want to read all that, so there, there you go, you can pause the video, read it all. I'm going to be honest, I'm more so interested in the gameplay. <laughs> Avoiding danger and hitting what matters, that's what waypointing is for. Units are mostly blind, they go for the closest heat signature, they can see platforms, extenders, capital ships. Like my golden forges, which your ships see and, and throw themselves at worthlessly instead of attacking my two outposts. So time to learn waypointing before that, let's talk about mining. These are Jaren mining ships, they gather matter from crystallized deposit like these. You can build more of them from a yard M4 along with some heavier combat ships like Odorels, which you have now by the way. Mining produces matter much more rapidly. Oh, so the, okay, so you can use mining. So instead of having ore, you can it like it, instead of mining producing ore, it produces just matter. The matter deposits will run out over time, and miners are vulnerable to attack. Affected your waypointing system. It's the blue button on your console. Use waypointing to plan paths for newly launched ships to follow. It only works with ships that have just launched from a yard. And phone screen get going. Okay. Um, ah, okay. Was there a way that I, like, is there a, go over here, you know what? Oh. Cool, okay. So you can have like there. And then have it go like up over to there or something. Basically, I just want to like kind of have it go around. Maybe attack over here or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, you guys aren't listening. Okay. You know, I, um, I, you know, I, hmm. um, Okay, there we go. Now it'll collect. Okay. So I need to go over... Okay, okay. So we're gonna go... Delete these pathways. Okay. We'll delete them. Because we do have... Specific... Directions. To attack... There. Okay. I think I got it figured out. For the most part. Energy storage. Matter storage. Increaser. Okay. I'm going to generate... Actually, I'll leave that... Like, I'll leave it that how it is. Um... I do want to get some mining vehicles, though. 
the more mining vehicles. Because I do feel like energy production is very important. Or matter production, I mainly, I should say. Logistics as well is also going to be fairly important. So I'm going to put some of those down as well. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of cover this area with ships. Okay, I don't have enough energy. Okay, well. When I have enough energy, <laughs> I will cover this area with ships. <laughs> How long does it take to build these. Like, and it just constantly builds them, right? Oh, there we go. It just feels really slow. Okay, now that we have that going, let's put down some more of these guys, just everywhere. Do I even have anything to extend missile? No, okay. Nothing to extend the area, but that's fine. Look at all those mining ships go. Yeah, we need something to like extend the area. You know what, actually, I could switch these. But I feel like we probably have enough mining vessels, so. What if I add some of these guys to there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try doing that. Yeah, no, these guys are absolutely demolishing at this point. I'm curious how good those fought. By the way, a few important yard tips. Took a bunch of yards, they all sync up to launch at the same Oh cool. If you hold shift when you set a yards production, it will build that last build that ship after it finished what's currently Ah, okay. So you can kinda have like a queue for for the ships. Or for like the production yards. It is interesting. So do you have to destroy all of their stuff? Yes, okay, you have to destroy all of their stuff. You don't just have to destroy their, like, main base. You do have to also destroy their... Okay, hold on. Go over there. Yeah, I'm gonna need all of you guys... To go um, to go up here or, or to go to go here and then go over here we're gonna do that okay Okay, that's that's not good for you guys. Okay. 
I wonder if I could take out his base. I prefer you leave the as exclusive as you know what. I'm so eager to not listen to this. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Go over there. I want to see what happens. I, I really do want to take out his base. Because he told me not to. And I'm like, well, what if I do? But yeah, I'm going to have them go over there. And attack there. And just kind of see what happens. Oh, they have another outpost. Good, it gives me more time. You and me, show me what you've learned. Okay. Do I have ex a way of extending? No, I mean, there are a few slots here and there that I can add some more stuff, but... Armor and heat. They're these are my. Uh, they're tough, heavily armored assault cruisers. Each one has 30 armor. Armor blocks an equivalent amount of damage, meaning they're very resistant to most everything you have, but not to heat. All guns inflict a bit of heat on impact, some more than others. You can get enough ships attacking an armored target to heat it up faster, then it can cool off. You can melt the armor away and burn them to scrap. You can also use armor piercing weapons such as the torpedoes on your Partel medium ships. Heat or piercing swarm those hunks of metal. Get going. Okay. Good to know. Cool, that's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just have them kind of chill at the base, I think. Because my idea is get enough of them kind of built up in this area and then just send a huge attack over to his little area here although yeah they're not they're not gonna do that are they no I don't imagine I can get them to, like, hold position, right? It's probably not something I can make them do. It would be nice if, it, if I could, but I don't think it probably is something I can do. Because I really want to see, like, a huge force of units. Anywhere else I can build. <laughs> no, yeah, see, they just, as soon as they go over there, they just start doing their thing. Okay. That's fine, though. I can switch the production, so I'm going to switch some of the production of on these medium ships to or these medium yards to um, the torpedo ones because these guys also have armor so I'm very much so curious um, about 
the armor being able to pierce this stuff as well. Hopefully it can. Should I even, should I be real, sh like truly should I be destroying his base? No. Do I want to destroy his base? Yes. Is it a bad idea? Probably. Do I care? Not at all. I'm gonna even make some more room for the sake of just being a complete nuisance. This base is actually almost destroyed. Good job, you're ready. No, let me destroy your base first. No! 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 Can I go back? Oh, no! It's fine. Let's go with trauma. Again, if you guys want to read the text and stuff, I really feel like I could have done could have destroyed his golden base. I feel like it probably would have given me the loss if I did, but it's whatever. Destroy the laboratory's defenses. Okay. So he said something about a control node, and I think it, I think he mentioned um, being able to expand my. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Attention on unknown platforms you have entered are secure. Exclusion zone. Please state your intentions before hostility is assumed. This is a hostile takeover. You have two chances: surrender or get your butt kicked. Who's in charge? <laughs> And thinks the overseer of this facility and its crew, we will not surrender any of our facilities to use you. Please vacate the area immediately. You have two military grade command platforms as your land. We have two military grade command platforms as your land's chance to reconsider. Rather than engage in combat, combat please, con re please consider rethinking your life goals. They are clearly malfunctional. This machine is going isn't going to yield. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. Well, um, first of all, let's pause it so I can kind of get a feel for how this is going to look. Let's put the um, resources in the back. And then... Have... of a guy for mining and then in the meantime anti-heavy defense anti-missile drone health repair anti-light which are these Some anti-light defenses would probably will probably be good for now. Oh, he's building stuff too. Cool. He appears to be building things a lot faster. There's enemies behind me. Okay, well that's not very nice. Avoid aggravating. I never even messed with them. Wasn't even. Is I didn't touch them. It's not my fault. Literally, all I'm doing is building. How am I the problem? How freaking long does it take for stuff to come online? Or is it already online? I think it already is online. Yeah, it is. All, all of this, all of the stuff that I was just complaining about right now is is already online. Um, let's get another thing there, and then 
Honestly, I feel like just focus on focus on um, tracking shift from far behind us. They may try to flank us eventually. Well, just try to focus on economy. I think for now is what I'll do, and then. Um, Try to build up a large amount of like, um, oh my gosh, you know what, I'm gonna just, yeah, you're, you're annoying, you're actually annoying, you're, you're so annoying. Yep, yeah, I don't care. I'm more focused on trying to... I don't have any more logistics. Okay. Let's get some logistics down. Build some of those. Oh my gosh. Stop destroying my stuff, please. For gosh sakes. You stupid freaking thing. Go with like some more stuff. I mean, and I and uh, I keep running out of logistics. Okay. I just need these things to build faster. Come on. How long does it take? to build My, okay very long to build not very long to destroy apparently Do I have anything stronger that I can send at these guys? Because I really feel like I need something a bit stronger. We have unstable research specimens and containment that may pose a threat to you and others. Consequences of your interference could be far-reaching. Please cease your aggression. I'm going to take a nice look around your little lo operation. Okay. Yeah, leave my guys alone. Stop destroying my stuff. My gosh. So annoying. I'm gonna start just putting stuff everywhere. You know, I'm actually gonna destroy this thing. So then I can put this thing in the back. Cause I wanna have like a big fleet that I can just send. Or, like a huge amount of production. Oh, oh my gosh, stop attacking me from behind. Leave, leave the, leave my behind alone, please. 
For gosh sakes. This game is sick, though. This is really cool. I really, I really like this a lot. Are those my guys? Cartels? Yeah, they are. That's cool. Alright, oh, I'm out of logistics, okay. There we go. See, these, those things are, I want, I want some, I want some units that can shoot missiles. I feel like that would be really cool. Wait, you can build it all the way out here? Oh my gosh. But you don't even have to build it inside of your, oh my gosh, you don't even have to build it inside of your area. Okay, do ships just spawn out of nowhere? Is that what is that what's happening? Okay. Okay, we're gonna have a lot, a lot of production back here. Need more logistics, so put logistics down as well. Probably make them cartels. Make them all cartels. Put more logistics down. Areas where there's no way of putting yard M4s, we're gonna put logistics stuff. There we go. Oh, okay. That's a bad idea. These guys are so freaking annoying. Okay. We may have a slight problem. It does appear that there is quite a lot of them. And I don't know if I have enough production to fend them all off. Um, we're gonna hope for the best. That's basically the plan right now. I feel like the Partels are not as good as I thought they would be. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't good. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm, okay. Yep, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. We don't need to go through this again. We can skip all that, okay. <laughs> okay. Same... Same general strategy. Mining vessel. Um, focus on energy. Focus on energy production, basically, and spam the crap out of it. Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting about this, this stupid freaking... Whatever. Yeah, I understand. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, if that really gets destroyed... I'm 
Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, I understand. I understand. Honestly, do I need a... I feel like I need to have more turrets. Oh my gosh, the freaking guys behind us. I forgot about that. Do I have enough logistics? Okay. That thing actually seems really strong. Okay, well. I still feel like it's really strong. It's just... I need to get it up and going quicker. And get, like, more, get more of them down quicker. So I feel like the it really is good for like defending against huge groups of enemies, which is the exact problem that I'm having. It's just defending against mass hordes of units. Keep destroying my stuff. It's Cause like I need the basically I need the turrets like here, right? But obviously it's taking time to be able to build the turrets. I can at least try to kind of hold them off using some of the turrets I've already kind of pre-built. And they can also kind of help with defending the back area as well. Okay. Oh, stop destroy! You know, if these guys keep destroying my stuff, I'm gonna get annoyed. These guys are so annoying. Okay, we're trying. We're restarting. Okay, this is maybe maybe trauma was a bad difficulty for this, but come on, we can. I we can do it. Come on, can we skip? 
we skip the freaking dialogue? I need to get into this. Okay. I am building a beam spire as soon as I possibly can. That, that that see already right from the bat we we end up having a, a position where we lose out on matter generation so you know what we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a different a bit of a different strategy here we're gonna do this we're gonna stay away from these guys. Like these guys. Yep, yeah, okay. Like, yeah, let's stay away from those guys. Let's get, like, one of these guys as well. Actually, I need more energy production first, I think. Right, let's get um I could do that Th preferably this shape right here but let's do that then I guess let's get another one as well okay Yep, there's ships behind, or there's stuff behind me already. Okay. They're distracted by that, though. Oh, shoot. We don't have enough logistics. Oh, gosh. Come on. Come on. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We still don't have enough freaking logistics. Are you kidding me? Is that enough logistics game? Is that enough? Gosh dang it. Oh my gosh, I never have enough freaking logistics. My beam spire is about to get obliterated as well. Yeah, that thing is a goner. Insufficient energy, okay. Starting to realize we never really have enough resources of any, like any resource ever. Like ever, all of our resources just constantly depleted all the time. I don't think there's ever a point in time where our resources are not constantly just depleted, 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 depleted.
Come on, I know, like, I know we can beat this. I know for a fact we can. They just destroy our stuff so freaking quickly. There we go. Now we're getting some resources online and up and going. Get some more logistics going and then... And then apparently have things get destroyed. Let's get a couple of heavy defend defense turrets, I guess. That thing has a lot of health. Just quite a good job at destroying things as well. Oh, I don't have enough. Bro, literally everything behind us is getting destroyed right now. Literally everything is just getting destroyed. Honestly, how long is this video already? Almost an hour. Okay. Maybe just building up a huge fleet is what I need to do. I That's what I did the first time. Didn't really focus too much on defense. Maybe that's what we just need to do again. Focus on, like, yeah, focus on freaking economy, focus on building lots of, un lots of units, lots of stuff. Just have some units and stuff. That can kind of go out and distract a bit, deal some damage. Let's just get some like smaller guys going. Oh yeah, I want I did want them to be a Jaren, my bad. Oopsies. Switch them to Foss. Okay. Let's 
get this guy going right away. Yeah, like, let's just get... Just get this stuff going as well. enough logistics okay and that thing freaking got destroyed okay so i'm not paying attention to it this thing gets okay never mind you know what let's build out here let's do that This is going a little bit better, I would say. Don't want to jinx it yet, of course, but... I'm a bit happier with this. Okay. We got a more, like, for formidable, f like, force there, as you can see. Our production is definitely better than it was before. By a lot. Unit production is way better than it was before as well. Oh my gosh. And then you get then you get freaking guys that just come out of nowhere. gotta just screw things up for everyone don't you don't you? you just gotta just gotta start problems just gotta start problems Don't care. Stop trying to like negotiate. You know what? I'm gonna start building turrets as well up here. Just to help them a little bit more as well. With their onslaught, okay? Or not. 
because somehow just random shots are getting through. Just literally just random shots. Like, just like random shots. Just somehow we'll get through. You have like a flood of units, but you'll just get like. You'll just get like freaking. Like a bullet or like a freaking whatever here once in a while that'll just hit my, my construction, the scaffolding of my turrets. What is that guy? I want that. Can I get that? Can I get one of those? Mom, can I get one of those for my birthday? Okay. We're gonna get some... Get some storage. I don't know if anyone can tell by now, but I am all about, like, overkill. Going full-on overkill with, like, my resource production. Way beyond what I probably need. Oh my gosh. You are so obnoxious. You have literal suicide bombers. What is this? Oh my gosh. Those guys I want as well. I want these guys. These guys seem cool. Very strong. I also don't mean cool as in friendly, they just seem very powerful. Come on, logistics. There we go. Yeah, we're basically just gonna have huge hordes of enemy er, of units coming through now. Finally, we've gotten to a point where I feel quite confident in in my ability to win this it's like once you kind of get past that beginning part where things basically look pretty much like they're doomed uh, once you get past that you're uh, pretty much golden but you know it's the actual getting past that part that is the main problem where a lot of the difficulty lies I'm hoping the just onslaught like just swarm of units is gonna be mostly like um, overwhelming for them because the idea is Send in a lot of swarm, which are like, you know, fast units 
that can kind of not tank but make make enemies miss a lot of their shots because they're going to be trying to aim for these little units and stuff obviously the guys with lasers are going to be able to one shot but the guys that kind of shoot or not one shot but like be able to land the target like land the hit every single time but the units that are like that kind of shoot out like little bullets and stuff like you can see there those guys are going to be the ones that are going to be missing a lot I'm gonna go with that. Okay, that's a little... There we go. There we go. Oh, okay. Little glitch right there, but it's all right. It happens. It's not just that game, this game that I've seen that happen on, so it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely got this one in the bag now. I'm not at all worried. Especially with this, like, huge fleet of units that's coming over here as well. But yeah, no, we... We've got it, we've got it. I am looking forward to being able to build bigger ships, but look at my base compared to his. <laughs> yeah, this is just cool. This is just cool to watch. And the fact that you can rotate the camera as well. Get like, like zoom in on the action. You can be literally part of the conflict. Be part of the fighting. Stop, I surrender. You have significantly damaged my facility. Please refrain from further violence. Good job, Junior. I'll take this from here. Wait, wait team, let's go. Ah, uh, hoping it would like keep, keep going. Just destroys the whole thing. Oh, and then there's like a little bit of like lore here and there, like kind of spread out. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it for day today's video of Annihilate the Spants. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, if you did, please leave a like on and subscribe to the channel. Um, again, this is probably going to be the last some of the one of the last videos i do with commentary it's hard to just like want to record a video without talking in it like every like i want to talk during the video but like so yeah i from now on probably not gonna have um commentary in the videos which i i do apologize um I want there to be commentary, but family issues, so, um, but yeah, um, I hope, uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did, please leave a like on it, and subscribe to the channel, and, um, and yeah, you guys take care, and I'll see you guys in the next one.